Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to design a t-shirt slash clothing business website using Shopify. I'm going to break down step by step how to design and lay out your website, how to add products and collections, and how to customize your website's homepage. Hopefully this video can help you to design your website in just one day or a few hours. And you can follow this tutorial whether you sell clothing products, beauty, home decor products, and more. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. To get started, you're going to want to open Shopify. And here is where you can go ahead and customize your currently published theme, or you can install one of Shopify's free themes. This is the current base display of this website. And when you click this mobile icon, you'll be able to view how the website looks on a mobile device. When you click these three dots, here is where when you click view, you'll be able to view your website in full screen. I'll be starting off by showing you how to lay out your website. Then I'll be breaking down how to customize your navigation and your footer bar menu, as well as how to add products and collections to your store. When you click catalog, this is going to take you to the shop all page. And when you click contact, this will take you to the contact page. When you click on this announcement bar, you have a few different editing options for this section. And when you click the arrow back, this is where you can edit the text for the announcement bar. For a simpler look to the website, I'll be removing this announcement bar. Next, I'm going to click on the header, and this is where you can edit the display of the header and those menu links. Under desktop logo position is where you can reposition the logo. Under desktop menu type is where you can change the style of the menu. Here when you set it to drawer, it's going to hide away this menu. And you can also choose to select to apply another color scheme to the menu. I'm going to click theme settings, then logo. And here you can upload your brand's logo and your favicon image. Next, here there is an image banner section. I'll be customizing this to feature a specific product. So here you'll be able to upload one or two pictures for this section. Over here under desktop content position, this is where you can reposition this container with the text and the button labels. I'll be setting this to middle center. Then here under color scheme, you'll have the option to change this to another color scheme. I'll also be lowering the image overlay opacity to make this overall image darker. Then right below that section, I'm going to click add section to template. And here I'll be inserting a collection list. The collection list is where you're going to be able to display your product collections. I'll be removing this heading text. And you can also choose to adjust the number of columns that you would like to show on a desktop. I'll be choosing to feature two product collections. Then here for the footer bar, I'm going to click this arrow back and I'm going to click add block. Here you can insert an image block, and this is where you can choose to insert your logo and add it to the footer. And once you're done, that is a beginner friendly way that you can lay out your website to include a few essential sections that you're going to want to help feature and display your products. Later I'll be showing you ways to customize these sections. Also here's an example of a more advanced website I designed. For a few ideas of how you can have a more professional look to your website, you can choose to feature a slider section to show multiple photos of your products. You can also choose to add an about us section, and for a few other types of sections you can add to your website, you can add a featured reviews section, and you can also choose to feature your brand's social media. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're going to receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses, and I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. All right, to begin customizing this website, I'll start off with this featured banner. This is most likely going to be a first impression for your website for a lot of your website visitors. And over here, you'll have the option to select to feature one or two pictures. So here is the display of the main banner. And here is currently the display of the mobile version. I currently have this section set to color scheme 3. So here I'll be opening color scheme 3. And I'll be changing the background color. Next, when you click on this heading text, and here is where you can type in your heading title. You have the option to adjust the heading size. 
then you can put this text in bold, italic, and you can insert a link leading to another page within your website. And you can write a mini text description or a mini tagline of the collection or product you're featuring. For the button labels, you can choose to title each button label, and you can also choose to remove them. Here I'll be titling this first button label. Then here under first button link is where I'm going to select a link to another page in the website. I'm going to link this button label to the all collections page. And next I'll be showing you how you can customize the collection list. First off, I'll be showing you how to create a product on your store, then how to create a collection and how to add that product to your product collection. Here on Shopify, I'm going to click products, then click add product. And here is the product information page. This is where you can fill in the details about the product that you are listing to your store. I do have a few in-depth product page tutorials on my channel, so I will link those in the description box below if you want an in-depth tutorial. And next, you can insert your product description. You have a few different text editing options, and when you click this icon, you'll be able to insert images throughout your product description. And under media is where you can upload your pictures and videos. I'll be uploading one example picture. Then here under category is where you can type in and select the exact category that fits your product. I'll be typing in the product pricing. Then you can type in your cost per item, which will help you to determine your margin. Here under inventory is where you can type in the amount of stock of the product that you have. And then you can type in the item's weight. If you have different options like sizing and colors, here under variance is where you can list each of those color and sizing options. I'll be adding an option for sizing. Then here is where you can type in how much stock you have for each of the sizes. When you scroll up, here you can type in the product type. You can list yourself as a vendor or list the vendor of the product. And here under collections is where you'll be able to add this product to collections within your store. Then I'm going to insert some product tags. You want these to be related to the type of product you're listing. This way when customers are searching for that product in your store, this item will be recommended to them based on their searches matching your tags. Then I'm going to save this page and then click collections. This is where you can create a new product collection. This is where you can select which products you would like to add to this collection. Next, I'm going to open the website, and here when you click on this collection list, you'll be able to click on one of the collections and select to feature that new product collection. And here is the display of that collection list. When customers click on a collection, it's going to take them to that collection page. And here's an example of how the product page appears. And here's also how the cart page appears. And that's a quick beginner friendly way that you can set up your website's homepage. Next, I'll be showing you how to do your main menu and your footer menu. All right, so here on Shopify, I'm gonna click navigation. And this is where you'll be able to view your store's menus and make edits to your menu. I'm gonna click add menu to create a new menu. Then when you click add menu item, this is where you can select which pages you would like to link to the menu. I'll start off by adding a link to the home page. Next, you can choose to insert a link leading to all your collections. And if you have multiple product collections, you can choose to create a dropdown. So here I'm going to click add menu item and I'll be adding a link to a specific product collection. Then when you click this icon, you'll be able to drag it right below that all collection link, which is going to create a dropdown. And you can just repeat that to add links to more collections. And next you can add links to specific pages that you've created within your store. I'll be adding a link to this default blog page. You can add this link if you'll be updating your store as a blog. And next you can add links to more pages. So you can add links to your policy pages and I'll be sure to add a link to the contact page. Then I'm gonna save this menu. Then you're gonna open your website. I'm gonna click on this header bar section. And right here under menu is where you can choose to select and display that new menu. And that is a way that you can customize your main menu. Here's how the mobile display of the website appears. 
And here's also the mobile display of the menu links. And then I'll be showing you how you can customize the footer bar menu of your website. Here on Shopify, I'm gonna do a slightly similar process to how I did with the main menu. I'm gonna click navigation, then I'll be adding a new menu. Then I'm gonna save this menu. Then when you open your website, you're gonna click on the footer bar. When you click add block, here you can add a menu. And when you click on this menu, you'll want to assign it to that new footer menu. I'm gonna click add block again, and here I'm gonna insert a text block. And you can choose the title of the heading and insert whatever text, tagline, or brand description you would like to insert under subtext. And that's how you can customize the footer bar of your website. And here's also how the mobile version of the footer bar appears. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. And if in general you're not too familiar with Shopify, I do have a Shopify basics guide. This is a guide I've put together that includes a lot of info for if you're a beginner with Shopify. The guide covers things like how to read your analytics page, how to set up your shipping policies, and more. In this guide, I've included screenshots and written text explainers to help you understand each section of the guide. I will link that in my description box below as well. Thank you all so much for watching.